This wine right here grows on the oldest vineyard soils on earth. Hey, what's up? It's Madeline Puckett, and today we're talking Margaret River. I have three wines with me from this storied region, and we'll be tasting them, but also discussing a little bit more about what makes Margaret River so special. And then we'll dive into tasting three wines that I think represent the most famous varieties grown in this little spot on the edge of Australia. Margaret River is what is called a geographic indication. This is Australia's Appalachian system, and you'll find it located on the far southwestern tip of Australia. This area is so remote, it's three hours to the closest city. There are about 14,000 acres of vineyards planted here, which means it's quite a small region. Compared to Napa Valley, that's about one third the size. And although grapes have been planted in the area since the 1850s, we really don't see wine production until the 1970s. And what's interesting is despite that, Margaret River still rose very quickly to becoming one of the world's most renowned region. We're going to be tasting three incredible wines, but before I do, let's talk a little bit more about why Margaret River has such awesome wines. Margaret River sits at the 34th parallel south, that's the Northern Hemisphere equivalent of being in Dallas, Texas. The reason why Margaret River grows such great grapes, though, is because it's surrounded on three sides by water. We have the convergence of the Southern Ocean and the Indian Ocean here, which creates a marine climate. Because every day, around the midday, the winds pick up, called the doctor, and they cool down the vines. And that's what helps maintain great acidity in Margaret River wines. And if you know quality, acidity is a hallmark for age-worthiness. But if we're talking terroir, I think perhaps the most interesting thing about Margaret River are the soils. Now, these soils are old. For comparison, Napa Valley soils are about 150 million years old, like the oldest soils there. There are soils here that are 1.1 to 1.6 billion years old. This might be the secret to what makes these wines have the taste of terroir and minerality. The soils themselves are known as gravelly soils. Now, do you know another wine region that specializes in gravel soils? That's right, it's Bordeaux. And sure enough, Margaret River specializes in Bordeaux varieties and Chardonnay. By the way, if you want to learn more, definitely check out our Margaret River Guide. This guide features the wines and the wineries. You can find out all about this area and the information comes directly from the producers themselves. I have three wines with me today, a Chardonnay, a Cabernet, and a Cabernet Bordeaux style blend. Our first one we're gonna be tasting is Walsh & Sons Burnside Vineyard Chardonnay. Walsh & Sons are newcomers to the Margaret River region, having just started in 2014. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. They have converted a vineyard to biodynamics and are very focused on sustainability in the winery. Now I haven't tasted this wine yet, but I already have some assumptions of what might be going on inside the glass. First of all, this vineyard is very close to the coast, so we're getting a strong marine influence. That means acidity levels are going to be higher in this wine. But it's growing on these gravelly, clay-based soils. So that could mean we're retaining some heat there, we're getting drainage, but that clay is gonna give us a lot more body and texture and fruit flavors in this wine. And in fact, it's warmer than Bordeaux here by a few degrees throughout the growing season in Fahrenheit. So I wonder if this is going to be a more fruity style of Chardonnay. And if that's true, that means they probably used oak aging because when you have a bold Chardonnay, it does it really well in oak. Let's see if I'm right. Taking a look at this wine, it is a medium yellow color. Smells like yellow apples, lemon curd, a little bit of mandarin orange, a touch of hazelnut, and a subtle whiff of crushed gravel. Let's give it a taste. On the palate, this wine is bold and fruity, like I expected, with notes of pineapple and a, quite a lot of acidity coming through on the palate. But what I think is interesting is, yes, they're using oak aging because there is this subtle creaminess that comes through. Incredibly well-balanced wine, actually, for Chardonnay. I'm quite surprised at what we have here. 
Our next wine we have from Margaret River is from Liuan Estate, and they went on to win awards for their art series Chardonnay, and this is their art series Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, when I think about Cabernet from this region, I know a couple of things. We've got those gravelly soils like Bordeaux, so I'm expecting more minerality, texture, tannin in this wine. However, I know it's warmer here than in Bordeaux, so I'm expecting also maybe quite a lot of fruit flavors coming through in the glass. Let's find out if I'm right. Taking a look at the color, this is a medium ruby color, already showing slight bits of age on the edge of the rim of the glass with some slight garnet colors. Let's give it a sniff. Whoa. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited, so it's hard to respond. But we have classic Bordeaux-styled aromas of black cassis, blackberry, sort of a textured graphite note, subtle notes of cedar, baking spices. It has this gravelly undertone with slight, slight notes of green peppercorn. Notice how I said blackberry? There's definitely a lot of fruit here. Let's see how it tastes. This wine is extremely well balanced from the start of the taste all the way to the finish. It's not super full bodied. It's, I would say, medium plus bodied. It's got tannin, but what it really has is lots of acidity. This carries the wine from front to back of the palate with this really rich berry flavor that comes through in the glass. The finish leads with this sort of tobacco, sweet tobacco, but a little bit of minerality coming through to make you remind you of these ancient Margaret River soils. Wow, this is an outstanding value from Margaret River. Our last wine comes from Colin Wines and is a Bordeaux style blend with Cabernet Merlot and Cabernet Franc. This winery, Colin Wines, started in 1971 and since that time have been organic and sustainable in terms of their winery production. As a Bordeaux blend, what's interesting and different about the Cabernet is they're using different grape varieties to create balance. The winemaker is actually creating a taste profile that they think is representative of Margaret River. And to given the age of this winery, I'm very excited to see what a Margaret River winemaker thinks Margaret River should taste like. Taking a look at this wine, the color is a bit deeper than our Cabernet, actually. We have uh, maybe a deep ruby color on the nose. This wine smells like black cherries, a little bit of chocolate, kirsch, molten lava cake, a subtle note of mint, the subtle texture of almost like freshly shaved pencils. Let's give this wine a taste. On the palate, this wine tastes bolder than our Cabernet with rich, fruity, boisterous, ripe cherry flavors that come through along with this really amazing texture of tannin that starts in the middle of your palate and moves to the sides of your palate. On the finish, I get more of that fruit flavor just maintaining on the finish a really integrated flavor of oak. Fruit is on the top, oak is somewhere in the middle, and then we get this nice sort of gravelly tannin texture in the palate. Very well-crafted wine, amazing sort of textural experience from start to finish. I think I now understand why wine enthusiasts around the world, when they get a chance to try Margaret River wines, freak the F out. These wines, not only do they have intense minerality, they also have acidity to age, balance, tannin, and fruitiness. I was surprised at the quality level of these wines despite the approachable price points. Now, these are just three of many amazing wines you can find from Margaret River. And like I said, we have an entire guide dedicated to Margaret River focusing on the wines and wineries here so you can do your own research and find your next bottle. If you love what we're doing at Wine Folly, definitely subscribe because we've got more wine education coming your way. Until next time, happy tasting. Peace out. Wow.